Here we go, folks. It is Urban Recon Carnage, a legendary. And look at these teams. We've got uh, some big, big teams here. Seven on seven. It is, uh, let's see, we are looking currently at Team X, Captain Overdose, Hobbs, Gorilla, Kryptos, Schmalkus, and Xenophon. That is an extraordinarily strong team of uh, hardened veterans who I think have a, have a great chance at this. And uh, they are up against Team YOLO. YOLO, uh, regular player uh, captain here, so uh, random dudes could be in for some trouble. They have with them Either, who is a, another a reg player. Look at that. YOLO just handing off the whole team to Either. <laughs> he's, he's saying just take care of the distribution here. Then they've got with them Leonardo, Father Xmas, Mouse Leisure, Geral, and MP. So there is a mixture of skill there. Leonardo, Geral, Father Xmas, and MP, uh, veteran tournament players. They know how to play uh, Urban Recon. Uh, but they are going to have, uh, you know, maybe a bit of a wild card here from YOLO, Either, and Mouse Leisure, uh, who might not know what they're doing. Let's see, we've got Choppers handed to Father Xmas, Leonardo, and Empy for Team YOLO. And then those Chops for Team X handed off to Hobbs, Kryptos, ah, uh, Kryptos with two. go empty on the move very fast up into the the beach area there he's gonna run right into Hobbs empty is he paying attention here he's got to go in with the zook get those rockets working Hobbs with the counter-attack it's going to go to empty he's gonna have to dodge though as these two cryptos choppers come after him that's a quick a quick win for uh, team YOLO, as uh, MP is going to retreat there very quickly. Hopefully he can get healed up. See the Father Xmas chopper in position here. So just staying out of range of that turret. As those cannons get a quick victory. See, Leonardo with the camp here. He's got his chopper. He's just sticking him way in the back. Oh, no. It was it possibly Geral taking some hits up front? <laughs> Leonardo says he loves how these noobs just assault the turret defense. That is always a challenging proposition. That turret, extremely strong. Here it comes, speaking of which, here comes Schmalkus. He is getting right in the defense. Look at this, uh, with either. Oh, excuse me, against yeah, either not even noticing here that Schmalkus is uh, right up in the, uh, having snuck into the, in behind <laughs> the defense here for Team YOLO. Crypto is losing one chopper. Taking some hits against either either does get the other chopper there. So Kryptos uh, handing off, just giving up uh, two of his choppers there. He says that is BS. Finally, uh, here is Schmalkus being recognized for the enemy that was in their midst. Uh, so that's a, a a big win, I think, for Team Yolo. They have taken out all the enemy chops, and there they <laughs> they do finally destroy uh, Schmalkus. Leonardo with his chopper still in play. Percents, six percent advantage for Team Yolo. As they are moving these tanks around, either gonna go back and heal up with that tank as he brings forward his other tank. He's got two tanks there, plus MP with some infantry. They are in a good position here to make something happen. Uh, what they need to, what Team Yolo needs to do here though, is get their cannons up. Those are being held by Mouse Leisure, unfortunately, who probably doesn't know what he's supposed to be doing here. But he needs to get those cannons up. They are, just gonna, they are currently being attacked by Overdose with that Rocketeer. And Gorilla and Hobbs with those uh, tanks. They're putting some serious damage. Uh, Gorilla putting some serious damage on Yolo's infantry mercs there. As Father Xmas comes right up with either. Xenophon takes him out. But here is Leonardo hitting those trees, trying to get Xenophon's Rocketeer. That cannon, Mel with that cannon defense, takes out Hobbs. Good stuff from the turret. Kryptos is going to have to pull back there. 
as those cannons are now taking out this mid stuff. That is Overdose with that Rocketeer once again trying to scorch these cannons. He does get one. Either trying to hit the defense here. Whoever, <laughs> this is X with this turret, probably needs to wake up. Xenophon with that rocket defense doing some serious damage to either as Leonardo continues to maneuver with his uh, chopper. That uh, tank is taken out by that turret shot. Great stuff there from X, realizing he had an opportunity there. Xenophon moving around a lot of his uh, infantry mercs. As the spam is continuing on the Team YOLO base, Gorilla with the Rocketeer, and then X moving up those cannons. Now this is where the cannons rightly should be. Unfortunately, they are just getting destroyed. The YOLO cannons are getting destroyed. Uh, the Team X cannons are on the move in the right position here just to rain havoc. Either complains that Mouse Leisure is suiciding. The turret is still in play. I I'm not quite sure what either is talking about here. As that attacks just rain in. Overdose, X, and Gorilla putting a lot of heat on that flag. Looks like they did scorch the turret. And Mouse Leisure is walking right into this. Oh my gosh. Uh, just kind of moving forward there and just putting his men right in position. Leonardo with his uh, chopper coming back to get healed. As more of those X cannon shots come pouring in. Another rocket attack. Didn't quite see who that was. Oh no, and those can those turrets are just those cannons are just going to work. Those X cannons. They have completely destroyed all of the Mel Sleasure cannons. And now Team X is up. Uh, look at that. 21% now. Red Chopper there, D. The chopper is Leonardo Chopper is healed up there. But they are Team YOLO is seriously down. It sounded like there was a big exchange of gunfire here. Oh yes, Team Yolo is trying to take out Schmalkus with this work. He's trying to get some of these cannons. Oh, he's taken out by the great Schmalkus. Uh, that was, um, excuse me, either who was trying to pull that one against Schmalkus. Schmalkus able to use the, the um, Merkji skulls to uh, take out that either unit. There is Leonardo trying to scorch these cannons. His mana though is quite low and he's gonna have to pull back to recover. Oh, he takes a hit there. Almost destroys the chopper. Super red. Can he get another heal? Uh, here we go. So Jeral, uh, thinking he had a heal there, but tossing a grenade by mistake. Mouse Leisure does have a heal, uh, but he's got the wrong unit selected, and he's throwing grenades. Oh, no, it's going to blow up Jeral. I see what either was talking about there. He does finally get the heal, though, off on Leonardo. But this flag is under so much pressure... Hobbs is standing right there. He's going to come up and start tagging this. They need to get him with the D either. And Mel Sleasure need to take out Hobbs. They are going to push him off. As those rocket attacks are pouring in from Overdose, Hobbs is taken out there. And here's Empey with Leonardo. Leonardo's still playing with his chopper, but they have a big rocketeer force back here. They could make something happen. Although, the, it looks like somebody's got those rockets number, Got them numbered. That is Gorilla doing, again, fantastic work with the Rocket Man there. Those X cannons, two of them are still up front. Leonardo, who has no mana left, he's, <laughs> he's in a difficult position here with that chopper. He should be able to take out these cannons. but has to kind of conserve ammunition against targets. Misses with those shots, and then he's taken down, possibly by one of those turret, one of those cannons did the job there. Uh, that's going to do it, I think, for Team YOLO, having lost that last chopper now. They are in serious trouble. As their defense is just being totally destroyed by those X cannons. Those X cannons are probably the MVPs of this game. I can't wait to see what kind of damage numbers he's got there. And those Rocketeers doing, again, spectacular work. Gorilla holding one of those right there. Those uh, MP Rocketeers coming in. Ah, but then the flag is captured right there. That was Kryptos. Snuck in a man.
as you can see, uh, with Hobbs following him up there. Crypto says another man. So they came right through here and just grabbed that that flag. There was the there was nothing left on it. Everything had been destroyed on that flag. Uh, so that's going to do it. Yeah. Uh, so fantastic work from Team X. Uh, you got to say they had um, they made some boner moves early on. Crypto's losing two of his uh, choppers, but he he was you know recovered it in the end with the flag tag, and uh, the uh, team uh, X himself did a spectacular work. He was the had the most kills on his team and the highest damage numbers, and that was from that brilliant use of these cannons who were just moved right, right up into the mid and never left and uh, you know took one loss but only one and was able to just rain down on that flag wiping out the defense uh, for team YOLO so I think that's really a showcase in uh, how important those cannons are on Urban Recon Carnage you need to preserve those you need to get those up forward so that they can um, you know put the pressure on the enemy's flag Mouse Leisure uh, holding the cannons for his team. He did some damage. That's certainly the case, but you know, lost a lot of units. Uh, there was also you could see he he wasn't quite sure how to heal properly, and he was throwing grenades at his own men. I think there are some uh, some boner moves there. Uh, either was doing some interesting work with his tank. Uh, he uh, had some pretty solid damage there. Leonardo uh, working with that um, the the chopper. He even had some rocket men in the back with MP, but they were and they were starting to they were doing some damage there and they were accumulating, but they didn't have enough time unfortunately to uh, really get to work uh, with those rocket men. And then um, Father Xmas uh, and Jeral early on they made a flank move up the beach, and tried to get some pressure here, but they were as you can see uh, tanks were destroyed uh, quite quickly in that regard. Uh, Hobbs, big damage numbers. He was walking right on the flag at one point with a lone man. Uh, had had some rocketeers with him and tanks as well. Gorilla did spectacular work with his rocketeer, as did Overdose. Those guys uh, really know how to utilize those rocketeers uh, to their advantage. Xenophon holding uh, some material tanks, I think, late in the game as well. Uh, like we said, there was that weird move when uh, either had kind of run right uh, or Schmelkis rather had gotten right in behind all of that uh, those tank defense, uh, but was taken out. So uh, kind of a wild move there. That sort of explains I think why Schmelkis is lower damage numbers there. Kind of um, maybe too audacious. At any rate though, that was uh, spectacular work from Team X. Like I said, the real showcase from the nasty one himself on how to utilize cannons and overdose and gorilla on how to use uh, rocketeers. Uh, really spectacular stuff there, Hobbs. You know, even how to make it happen with the infantrymen and cryptos, how to get in there uh, with with those infantry, you know, mercs and tag out the game in the end. Uh, Team Yolo, not a lot of offense. They had something happening, you know, early in the game, and uh, unfortunately, even though they were able to retain a chopper uh, late into the game, uh, as you can see, it wasn't enough. And uh, having lost all of their, you know, turret defense and the cannons uh, from those brilliant X. Uh, uh, cannon attacks there just was no defense left in the end uh, for team yolo to try to play this to a tire to hold it down so team x was able to walk in there and just score it and that was cryptos and uh, hobbs making that happen urban recon carnage